Hi, I'm going to talk about LMDA, a uh, low memory deterministic authenticated encryption with 120-bit security. I'm Yusuke Naito, and this is joint work with Yu Sasaki and Takeshi Sugara. This is a summary of our results. To obtain a low memory deterministic authenticated encryption with 120-bit security, we design a new TBC-based DAE mode, LMDA. LMDA has to n bit state and achieve the n bit data security when using an n bit TBC. Due to the birthday bound for an internal state size, the state size is optimal. And LMDA is designed to have no tweak schedule in birth, and so reducing hardware cost. Moreover, LMDA ensures low memory for threshold implementation, or RTI, which is a side channel attack countermeasure. Then we design a new TBC, Twist Skinny. Twist Skinny is a variant of Skinny, where a 3-bit tweak space is added in order to meet the LMDA structure. And Twist Skinny is designed to minimize the implementation cost of the key schedule impasse. And combining LMDA with Twist Skinny, we obtain a low memory DA with 128-bit security. Finally, we give a hardware implementation of our DAE. And so we compare our DAE with the state of the uh, TBC based and not based authentic encryptions, PFP and PFP plus. The memory sizes of these schemes are the same as our DAE, but since the tweak key inverse cost is small, the hardware size of our DAE is fewer than those existing schemes. And for threshold implementation, the hardware size of our scheme is fewer than PFP. I'd like to first talk about the background of our research. Lightweight cryptography has been a hot topic in cryptography for more than a decade. The motivation is to design cryptographic algorithms that achieve efficient performances and provide data security for resource constraint devices. Lightweight includes a lot of meanings such as low memory, power consumption, latency, and so on. The, so the target of this talk is low memory. Memory size determines the overall hard cost in lightweight implementation. So by reducing the memory size, the hardware cost is reduced. Now NIST is holding a lightweight cryptography standardization process for authenticated encryption. The standardization process de demand for replacing AES-based schemes such as ASGCM and optionally considers the security against side-channel attack. NIST selected 10 finalists, which include different types of primitives due to the design diversity. Many candidates have more than 60 for bit security for this size. Authenticated encryption provides confidentiality and integrity of data, and many schemes are designed to have nonce as well as key associated data and plain text. Nonce is an input to authenticated encryption and a non repeated value in encryption procedure. This property is offers a scheme with beyond birthday bound security or with low memory. And use of NAS is a requirement of NIST standardization process. On the other hand, there are several issues for NAS implementation. For example, NAS is repeated due to tiny NAS space. NAS is fixed to some constant and so on. In addition, NAS requirements require expensive non-volatile memory. So DAE solves the these problems and uh, DA provides confidential integrity of data without NOS. And this talk focuses on design of low memory DA with 120 bit security and additionally consider a side channel attack countermeasure threshold implementation or TI. DAE takes key associated data and plain text. And in order to ensure the security in this setting, algorithm must ensure that each bit of the input must affect whole output. So DAE schemes 
have the sieve type structure, which is a two path and mark the entry structure like this figure. And several DA schemes have been proposed from these uh, primitives, block cipher, tweaker block cipher, and permutation. So in this slide, I explain which primitive meets our goal. 128 bit secure low memory and tier friendly DAE. In order to achieve 128 bit security, the key size must be 128 bits and the state size must be at least 256 bits. Uh, this size is from the birthday attack on the internal state. For block cipher, in order to handle a 256 bit state, the block size must be uh, at least 256 bits. On the other hand, block ciphers have been designed to have at the most 128-bit block. And in TI, the nonlinear state size is tripled, while the linear state size is doubled. Since the uh, block size is equal to the nonlinear size, in TI, the state size of block cipher is large, and so block cipher does not meet our goal. For permutation, as the block cipher case, we need 50, 256 bits permutation. That is, nonlinear size is large, so permutation does not meet our goal. The last primitive is Twicker block cipher. Twicker block cipher is an extension of block cipher. Uh, the additional input called tweak is introduced, which offers the distinct permutation by, by changing the tweak. As uh, block cipher, uh, tweaker block ciphers have been designed to have at most 180 bits block, but the tweak contributes to design BBB secure non non-spaced AEs. Moreover, uh, TBCs offer TI friendly modes such as PFB and PFB plus because the block size is small, and tweak and key are processed by linear operations. From these features, we choose TBC as the primitive of our DAE. To design a 180-bit secure and TI-friendly DAE with 256-bit state, we need to design a DAE mode that for the security level S, the memory size is 3 bits and the block size is S bits. For existing TBC based DAEs, none of DAEs satisfies these requirements. The first scheme uh, DAE is a highly efficient DAE that is it is parallelable and has efficient mark structure. But the DAE requires a large memory size. And the rem these two schemes are non based schemes and achieve NB security in the non respecting setting. But these schemes fall into passive and security in the DA setting, where the non is fixed. So these schemes also require a large memory. So we design an NB secure DA with 2 NB state from NBIT block TBC. We first design, define a state update function shown uh, here. The function is designed to have only linear operation except for uh, thicker block cipher since we consider lightweight schemes. And in this function, firstly, twin state is updated by data blocks D1 and D2. Uh, each block size is at most uh, NBIT. Then, uh, TBC is performed, and finally, the TBC output and the remaining NBIT state is mixed by this linear function. TR is a 3-bit domain separation. So, iterating the, this function offers 2-bit state uh, schemes. For the speed, of schemes using this function when the data block size is through 2 and a bit, the DAE becomes fastest, but unfortunately, if the size is greater than n bit, there exists two to half of an attack. For example, this is one instantiation of the state update function where each data block size is 
uh, n bit. If the collision of this uh, TBC output occur uh, in this part due to the difference of this data block, then since we can set the same difference to this data block, we can find a collision uh, in this part uh, the, by the 2 to half of n query complexity. So the maximum data block size of the state update function is n bit. So we design a DAE using the state update function with n bit data block size. Elven DAE follows the chip type design, that is, it has a MAC and then X structure. This is the MAC part and this is the encryption part. The MAC part processes the associated uh, a and print text M. Then, using the tag uh, from the Mac from this part, the encryption part generates the keep stream RT to encrypt the print text. Each part is designed by just iterating the state update function with n bit data block. In LMDAE, the permutation pi is introduced in the lower part of each state update function and we can choose arbitrary permutation so choosing the tweak scheduling as the permutation we don't need to implement the inverse of the tweak scheduling which reduces the implementation cost regarding security lmda achieve security when using a Emit block TBC. The security is the indistinguishability between LDA and uh, ideal DA. In the real world, adversary interact with the uh, equation and the decryption of LDA, and in the ideal world, adversary interact with a random bit oracle and reject oracle. The uh, random bit oracle returns the random bit random cipher text and a uh, React Oracle returns the uh, React symbol. <coughs> and uh, here I explain an intuition of the security proof. Due to the iterate structure, each tag is uh, random as long as no state collision occur uh, in the Mac part. So in this case, forgery requires the two to two n decryption queries. And since the internal state size of LDAE is two n bits. And the internal state uh, its part is appropriately updated. So the complexity of the internal state collision required to do n uh, query complexity. For each encryption query, uh, this structure ensures that each TBC input of this part can be seen as a 2 bit random value. So no TBC input collision occur up to 2 to n query complexity. And so each TBC output to de define a key stream RT can be seen as a random value. Uh, therefore, LDA is uh, indistinguishable from uh, ideal DA up to 2 day key complexity. That is, uh, LDA achieved n bit security. Next, I explain the underlying TBC of RDA. The underlying TBC of LNDAE needs to support a 128-bit block, 128-bit key, 128-bit key tweak, and an additional 3-bit tweak for the domain separation. Skinny is 128-256 almost meet the requirement of LNDAE. However, the tweak space is 3-bit short. The L6 tweak enabled to convert the existing TBC to slightly enlarge the tweak size. So we determined to combine these two approaches. However, uh, L6 tweak was designed to minimize the number of computations by increasing the state size, which is not suitable for LMDAE. Hence, we modified the L6 tweak to be hardware friendly. In the original elastic tweak, a small tweak of uh, theta 1 bit or is first expanded to theta 2 bits. Then the expanded tweak is injected to uh, theta 3 bytes of the data state in every theta 4 rounds. 
the tweak expansion requires an uh, increase of the state. Also, the uh, sparse tweak injection requires different operations depending on the number uh, round number. In our design, we don't expand the small tweak, and in every round, uh, LFSR is applied to the small tweak and it is injected to the data state. We apply exactly the same operation for every round, which contributes to lower the memory size. This page shows the round function of skinny 128 to 56. Most of the round functions are the same as the skinny, uh, with the red lined area being the elastic tweak uh, portion that handles the additional 3-bit tweak. Without uh, touching the 3-bit tweak or the domain separation processed by the elastic tweak, the security of tweak skinny is the same as that of skinny. The optimal locations to insert the tweak was chosen by evaluating the number of active Xboxes in MILP for various choices. And as shown in this table, sufficient active Xboxes are guaranteed. So I explain hardware performance of RDAE. We made hardware performance evaluation by implementing LMDAE with TwiSkinny. Since there is no comparable TBC-based TBDAE, uh, we compare the performance with the non-space masking friendly schemes using uh, Skinny, namely PFB with this Skinny and P plus with Skinny E. For a fair comparison, we implement the previous scheme with the same design policy tools and standard cell library. Um, this figure is the data path diagram of the LMDAE circuit. The design follows the BiCR architecture common for lightweight block cipher implementations. The data path is basically a skinny implementation with a few additional gates needed for LMDAE. Since we set pi as the skinny tweaky scheduling, we can eliminate the circuit for the inverse operation, which was necessary for the conventional schemes. We also implement a protected implementation with threshold implementation. In addition to the round function that needs three shares, we also protect the tweaky array storing secret. But we use only two shares because the tweaky schedule is linear. So this table summarizes the circuit area of LNDA and conventional schemes with and without TI in another equivalent gate count. This table also shows the total memory size in bits because it had great impact on circuit area. In the results without TI, uh, showing this part, LMDA achieves the smallest circuit area, although the memory size is the same as in all the schemes. This advantage comes from the tweaky implementation. We could eliminate several 120-bit uh, sectors needed for inverting the tweaky schedule. With TR uh, in this part, the non-space PFV and PFB plus become advantageous in memory size because they have a large public memory that needs no such attack protection. Since an uh, optimization is not available to DAE, but LMDA size is still comparable to PFB because of the efficient tweaky implementation. This is the conclusion of my talk. We proposed low memory DAE with 120-bit security and TI friendly. We designed TBC based DAE mode LNDAE. When using an N bit block TBC, LNDAE has N bit security and 10 bit internal state. LNDAE does not require the inverse of tweak, tweak scheduling of the underlying TBC. We then propose Tweak Skinny. It is a variant of Skinny where 3 bit tweak space is added. It is designed so that the cost of key scheduling 
the inverse is small. Finally, we gave a hardware implementation of our DAE and compare our DAE with the state of the art DBC based and non based authenticity action, PFP and PFP. Plus. The memory sizes of these schemes are the same as the RDAE, but since the tweaky inverse cost is small, uh, without TI, the hardware size of RDAE is fewer than those existing schemes, and with DI, the hardware size of our scheme is fewer than PFB. Okay, so thank you very much.